That's Cole's statement. So let's talk to the National Secretary of the Transport Workers Union, Tony Sheldon. Tony, thanks for joining us today. What do you say to that statement of rebuttal issued by Coles? Oh, good morning, Leon. It's extremely frustrating because you've actually seen other retailers uh, in Australia that have said that they'll uh, come on board about trying to deal with the issues that so many coroner's reports and so many government inquiries um, have stated, and that is that this undue pressure from retailers economically squeezing literally the life out of truck drivers, owner drivers and and transport operators, which then squeeze uh, their employee drivers because of that economic pressure. And it is extremely frustrating to see Coles, who, you know, we've seen hammer farmers, hammer food producers, only a matter of weeks ago saying that Coca-Cola should uh, get rid of its manufacturing in Australia and start using Indonesian products. Um, and then we've seen Coles, which are, amongst the highest margin retail operators in the world. In actual fact, they are the largest uh, margin retailer operator in the world for getting profits out of the Australian market uh, in comparison with the rest of the world, saying they've got no responsibility. But all the surveying that we've done of drivers close to uh, 950 uh, only a matter of months ago uh, fingered very clearly that Coles was the most economically pressured, which means that truck drivers can't maintain their vehicles or have to literally slave behind the wheel, do extraordinary hours and fatigued um, to actually get the work done. And you know, I just recently, um, you know, many people would have seen the uh, national headlines on the terrible, horrific um, fatalities in Bangladesh with hmm. with clothing. And you now we've seen at the same time a manufacturer uh, in Bangladesh saying that they would never take an Australian Coles contract because you could not do it even by Bangladesh legal laws safely. Well, look, this raises an interesting point. Tony, if what you're saying is right, then if there is a law breach, why isn't there a court case? Well, that's actually the critical thing. We've got um, the, the federal government brought legislation in close to 12 months ago hmm. um, with the support of um, you know, people like Nick Xenophant and a number of the crossbenchers in the Senate hmm. um, and um, to say that Coles and other major retailers, which account for and, and other clients that account for um, one third of the road transport task in this country, yep. that they're accountable for what happens in their supply chain. And when they economically squeeze, when truck drivers can't maintain their vehicles or are forced to do extraordinary hours to put food on the table and maintain uh, their living, that Coles can be held to account. And Coles have been fighting it every inch of the way. So the government's moved. Unfortunately, um, we've we've got uh, you know it's a thing of elections. Uh, we had a statement from. The opposition saying they're going to review um, the legislation and mm. it's extremely frustrating because it's been 20 years in the making and there's lots of dead bodies quite literally of um, truckies and other road users because of this pressure on truckies and there's been so much horrific personal evidence have been given by truck drivers and uh, families um, you know it's uh, it's beyond politics but when you look at companies like Coles you know like <laughs> Good luck to the CEO, but when he's making a decision, he earns fifty-seven thousand dollars a day, which a truck driver could retire, you know, on the second of January, um, and still earn the same income they get over a year. Mm. It's pretty hard for them to, you know, to, to see how they actually can connect with the pressure that they're applying to, you know, the Aussie truckie. All right. So, what is it you're hoping to achieve today at twelve noon? What, what is it? What is it you're trying to do? Well, look, I'm trying. To, what we're saying to Coles is, look, sit down and have proper discussions about all the evidences in. Get, stop saying um, you know, black is white. Stop engaging all your um, your spin doctors at millions of dollars, and actually sit down and have a proper discussion about how we can make our roads safer, and give the truckies a fair go. Like, you know, I know you're doing over farmers, you know, you're doing over producers, and it is horrific what happens to them when you do it to a truck driver. It actually kills or maims somebody. So again, you're doing this to try and get public support, no doubt. Yeah, we're doing this to sort of to highlight to the public that, and, and asking the public to you know, call on uh, Coles and other major retailers um, to you know, uh, stand up and do what's right by by you know, Aussies and you know, this death right death um, uh, list of you know, eleven times the national average for truck drivers is being driven by economics and we're asking the general public to understand why we're doing the protests and also to say to Coles in particular, which are coming out as the worst in all the statistics that we get from truckies as the highest, the most pressured uh, company on truckies that, you know, stand up and be counted for us Aussies and let's make a difference together. All right. 
so you deny that Coles is saying that this is uh, a, a disguised wage claim. You deny that? It is absolutely not a wage claim. What it is, uh, however, and that is that there's been evidence to say that because of the low rates of pay, and this is from uh, a coroner, um, uh, Doran uh, Hinch, only a matter of um, a few years ago, um, the uh, report only last year, where truck drivers are earning below the minimum wage and have to do extraordinary hours mm. to try to actually keep food on the table and keep the truck going. Now, if you're squeezing economically, which Coles does, and you can't earn enough money to maintain your vehicle, and 20% of drivers are saying they're doing more more than 80 hours a week, mm. then the economics does kill people, and you have to pay people a rate and a, that is fair and safe. The court says that. The legislation proposes that. Coroners say it. Coles just don't want to pay up when they can afford to after all their record profits. All right. Tony Sheldon, the National Secretary of the Transport Workers' Union. Now, if you drive a rig and you drive it with food, and it might be for Coles or other food companies, tell me how much of what Tony Sheldon relates to you, how relevant it is. And you've heard me read you the statement verbatim from Coles themselves, who are just dismissing it and saying, look, this is nothing but a disguised wage claim. Let's...